Hello again, friends. It is Kristen, and this week, the topic that we're tackling is the Trinity. Bum, bum, bum. Ah! That's right, the Trinity. That ever confusing, somewhat nebulous, difficult to tie down concept that God is three persons in one. Whoa, mind boggling, mind blowing. But if you thought explaining the Trinity could be tough, have you ever tried crafting the Trinity? Well, as it turns out, it's actually pretty fun to do. And there are a lot of great ways that you can do it. But today we're going to try two of them. We're going to craft the Trinity using an interesting triangle diagram, as well as a fun summertime treat. That's right, I said a summertime treat. And that's what we're going to start with. Strange as it may sound, when you think about it, that good old campfire standby, the s'mores, well, could sort of remind us a little bit of the Trinity, right? Because you've got marshmallow, chocolate, and graham cracker, three components, but it takes all three to make the s'mores. You wouldn't have the s'mores without a marshmallow or without chocolate. You have to have all three. So we're gonna make a fun some more treat for you. So we're gonna start out. You can use a variety of components here. I am going to use some felt or you could use foam. I'm gonna do it for my graham cracker pieces because I happen to have brown felt. But you could also use this for your chocolate if you have black foam or felt. Or you could use it for your marshmallow and or you could use it for all three. It's totally up to you. So we're going to use, I'm going to start with some brown felt for my graham cracker piece. And then I'm going to use some paper for my chocolate. And I'm going to use some cotton balls for my marshmallow. I do apologize because it turns out my voice has been a little bit froggy lately. I also apologize because these scissors are not the greatest. Wait one moment. Let's try our handy dandy kitchen shears here and see if they will cut through this felt any better. So we are also, of course, recognizing that the s'mores is not the perfect analogy for the Trinity because you could separate these things out and have three different components, whereas you cannot separate God into three different components. And of course, we're going to eat these. Well, we're not gonna eat the felt, but you could eat the s'mores, the real s'mores. Obviously, we're not gonna eat God, but he does provide all of our needs and gives us our daily bread. Anyway, so here comes our s'mores graham cracker pieces. And if you want to have a little extra fun with this, you could make them look even more graham crackery. Perhaps you've got something that you could dust them with, or perhaps, perhaps you've got some better scissors than these, because evidently even these, they just aren't cutting it, literally. Anyways, you could also use like some markers and put some little dimples or divots like those graham crackers have in real life when they come off of those machines, which I should know why those are there. Seems like I should know that because I know a lot about random things like that, like the fact that there was a man named Graham for whom graham crackers were made. Anyways, so you got your graham crackers. Now, before we move on, one moment because I forgot a slight piece of this. We're gonna make a little caption to remember why we made a random s'mores. I mean, it's always fun to make s'mores, but our caption is going to say something to the extent of, we need some more Jesus. Three in one, just like the Trinity. And of course, if people ex question, what does that mean? You can always explain, oh, here's why I have this random some more craft. So here's my graham cracker pieces. Now, 
You can, of course, put your s'mores together any way that you like. You can, some people like to put the chocolate first. Some people like to put the marshmallow first. As long as you have the marshmallow touching the chocolate so you get that melty goodness. But of course, these are all paper products anyway. So I'm going to start with my marshmallows, which in this case are going to be little fluffy cotton balls. I mean, if you want to use actual marshmallows, go for it. But I would just be concerned that that would attract ants. Nobody wants that. So here come our runaway cotton balls, which surprisingly the cat has not run off with yet. She loves cotton balls. It's one of her favorite things. Oh, wait, she hurt me. Um, so we're going to put our cotton balls there. And then on this side, I'm going to put my chocolate, also known as black paper, or again, if you want to use foam for that, that would be fun too. So here is my chocolate marshmallow graham cracker goodness. Put it all together and you can attach a string to this to make it something you can hang up. You can put a little pin on it if you want it to be like a fun little pin or you could even attach a magnet to the back and make it a fun magnet. You've got all sorts of fun possibilities available and open to you. But there we have our lovely three-in-one s'mores. Now, craft number two is going to be, not a giant thumb, craft number two is going to be a pretty traditional Trinitarian model type of a craft, but it's going to be something that we use to sort of illustrate this concept of the Trinity. So I'm going to start off I'm going to cut three circles and actually, I'm sort of going to cut four circles. So you'll see where this is going just in a moment. We're going to have labels on these preview there so we're going to have God God is going to be in the center then we're going to have the three components three persons of the Trinity the father the Son, the Holy Spirit. Now we're going to put these together in a sense. First, I'm going to use my popsicle sticks to make a big triangle. Now, on your lovely triangle popsicle sticks, I've got the big jumbo size one, which I just happen to think makes great crafts, but you could do this with the smaller version as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Just so you've got all three together. So I'm going to put my popsicle sticks together. Here is my triangle. If you have time, let that dry just a little bit before you put on your other components here. So we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, God is going to go in the center, and actually I'm going to add, God is... So we're gonna get, get that glued on here. So this component can kind of touch all of these things. God is the Father, God is the Son, God is the Holy Spirit. Now, if you wanna get a little more explanatory and technical, you could just leave this like this and have it be this fun explaining tool. You could also, to remind yourself further, add 
something like the son is not the father. The father is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the son. So these parts are unique, but they are all God. So, I mean, in a sense, the Father is not the same as the Son, but the Father is still God, and God is still the Son. So, that's the part where it just gets very confusing, and we take it in faith. But, you don't have to put that extra is not if you don't want to. That's just a little extra explanatory note. Now, what you might want to do, if you'd like to hang this up, is add a little pipe cleaner or a string of some sort, a ribbon, so that I can hang this up and have a cool visual reminder or again you could throw a magnet on here as well totally up to you but now I have my reminder of what the Trinity means so here we go maybe you even put a little extra caption there Trinity or you could have another label again as with anything both of these are up to your own creativity and your devices make them as embellished or not as embellished as you'd like. But there we have our fun triangle of Trinity and our extra fun s'mores, some more Jesus, some more Holy Spirit, some more explanation to this confusing Trinity thing. And if you want some more explanation to this confusing Trinity thing, check out our children's message video because as always we have children's messages and crafts coming out every week froggy voice or not so hopefully this is helpful to you a blessing to your ministry wherever and with whomever it might be so stay tuned join us again next week now go make some crafts make some disciples and we will see you next time <laughs>